sir. Yes, good evening, ma'am. <laughs> good evening, sir. I'm so honored today to come here in live. Um, called Dr. Franklin from Uganda. Oh. I think here we need to address the seed called a male. To be mm. born a male is by God's choice, but to be man is by character. We have many boys trapped into adult bodies. We are dealing with the character of men. You cannot be a man and lay your hands on a woman. You convinced him with your tongue. The same tongue can talk to that woman sense. I always tell men, improve your argument, but don't quarrel. I've been married ma, for 19 years. I've not slapped my wife. 19 years. And I thank God for that. The problem here, we have people who have spiritualized everything in church. We have failed to address the character in church. We have looked at offering. We have looked at opportunities. We have looked at these men who have money come and sit in front. They can op not open even their Bible to their business partners. We have people in church. We have turned the church into entertainment. We have robbed Christianity into a place that is not a place of divine glory. And because of that, the church has lost more authority, even pastors, to teach their people because themselves have been put into a place of compromise. He's scared if he talk to John, he'll leave the church. He's the one bring a big tithe instead of saving his soul. We have a church that is crippled today, that we have more people coming on our pulpit naked, not dressed up, and they're ending up sleeping with the pastors and pulpit, and we cannot address those issues. So a pastor has no more authority even to guide his own believer to stop beating his wife because himself is trapped by Jezebel's spirit seated inside. So what are we dealing with today? We are dealing with a male seed that is meant to build men. We are dealing with a seed of men. And the church is preaching Jesus. Hallelujah. But we are not teaching how to boys to become men. Because we have many boys trapped into adult bodies. A real man will not beat his wife. He's born to protect his territory. With jealousy and strength. Look at the lion. They protect what belongs to them. A man, when you protect, you don't batter. You protect to elevate. You, you, you talk things. You can negotiate. You can speak about a lot of things. The seed here called a male has gone out of hand because the real men have not sharpened the real man. And I can tell this man, it is man that needs to be fixed. And if you're a man and you're here, if you're still beating your wife, you are a coward. You are nothing but a coward. Number two, you are not going anywhere in heaven. Number three, your Ooh. prayer will never be answered because it's Hello. biblical. If your wife is not in harmony with you, no heaven is, heaven is already closed. No business, no nothing that you work. If your woman holds your prayer, then you'll not go nowhere. So if you want to fix your life, fix first your wife, fix your home, fix your family. If you can't lead your home, you can't lead a company. If you can't lead your family pastor, no matter how many times you talk and how many countries you've traveled, you are completely, completely, completely a backslidden. You need a savior. You need to be salvaged. I'm talking about a seed of a man. A man needs to be addressed, man. Until we raise our boys to get them from that boyhood into manhood, we are still having men who are think that beating a man, a woman, is a glorious. The polygamy system that we are born with in Africa gives us stupidity and sadness that in our age we must beat our wives while we are talking to them. We can buy them flowers when they are so mad and they will hear our voice. We can turn bad into good. We can take them even dinner when they are so much annoyed. And we can tell them this dinner is yours, though I have been bad. Let me tell you something I do, Ma. 31st December, lead as I am. I've traveled 69 countries of the world. I have children and spiritual children. I can tell you, every 31st December, I kneel down and I tell my wife, I'm sorry for everything I've done this year. I could have not been collect. Give me opportunity to serve you this year. Every year, my wife renews a spiritual contract with me and her to build back what we have built together. And I tell her, it doesn't matter what, Kneeling down, I'll still stay man in the house. I'll still have the beard, and I'll still have my three boys walking. 
And I'm here to speak to child of God who is here. Don't let any man abuse you. You are not living with a man. You are living with a boy. I, let me say this. I know many, there's some people who say, oh, when someone is an elder, is wiser. Listen to me, baby. I've found foolish elders, stupid elders. I've found men who are grown up, but they're still decapacitated, broken, still running with young girls whom they can even be the fathers to. Now, I want to speak to those who are in church, in choir. If your pastor still tells you to open up your pants, tell him, I'm sorry. You've just closed my door. I'm going to the next church. A church is like a hotel. If you are not satisfied here, you can be fed to the next hotel. Go to the next place. Mama, if you're still here and you are being abused and battered by a man, you have a boy trapped into his door bodies. Because what makes a man is not his education, not his beard, not his thinking, not his looks, not his age. It is what comes out of him. You are a product of that. Lastly, if you have a husband, he's surrounded by certain character. Is a product. Surround yourself with six men. You're about to become the seventh one. Surround yourself with five stupid people. You are going to be the sixth one. Watch out who is the friend of your husband. Ask him, who are you? Find out before you get married. Who is his circle? You're a product of what you read, what you see, and what you hear. Man, we must fix this problem. This should not happen on the face of Africa. We are born to protect our territory, but not to destroy what has been given to us. Oh Ma, my God. I, 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 want to, I want to show you something here. Come here, Come. Of this, this is my beautiful, my beautiful wife, Mama. You know how I'm Oh, she's so beautiful. How are you, 19 mama? years. I've not slapped this woman. I've not been her. She's here. We've been talking to him today. This is my angel. <laughs> oh, so and this is what it is, Mama. We must create a generation. And let me say this. You cheap men who still think that you can batter your wife and go away. The another generation has been born. God is raising up men and women like us to speak manhood into boyhood. And you will transcend. We will prepare you how to protect what God has given you. And let me say this. Don't be deceived that every pastor is a man. We have many pastors who are still boys. Their priorities is car, not a mission. Their mission is how to, their own competition with themselves. They are competing with another neighbor. No, 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 no. We, we, we have pastors who are trapped into their history. Some of them have urban excitement. They've just entered into a bulge. They want to look somebody else. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? In the kingdom, we don't compete. I'm talking to you, and I'm speaking to you. I'm not here for any competition. I'm not here to show anyone. I'm here to speak to you that you better grow up, teach your men how to be men. And if you cannot teach them how to be men, invite mama, invite other men of God to sharpen men to know how they can walk, how a man can be clean, clean in the home, how he can groom up, how he can walk out, how he can live peace at home and find peace where he wants to work. Mama, I thank you. And I'm, I don't know if I've told you, you are my model. I love you. Oh I believe in you. I've been following you for the last six years. Six full years. Wow. Wow. Six full years. <laughs> and I pray you that God would bless you. God will keep Amen. you. And I'm encouraging these women. They are more, they are men there. God has kept to lift you. There are men God has built to lift you. And don't give up. Don't say everything is bad. No, 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 no. You just met one of the rotten ones. There Ooh. are great men out there who love God. God bless, Mama. Thank you, sir. Dr. Mondo. <laughs> okay, please take notes of his handle because I'm going to bring him back. I'm going to do a live <laughs> Instagram. We're going to this. <laughs> Bless you, sir. Man, can we, we talk? To... Yes, oh, can we talk with the man. That... We need to deal with the male. Sir. We need to talk that... to them about the foundation. We need to talk yes. to them about pillars. How do we build the pillars? How do we sustain the pillars? How deep can we put our pillars down to have the oh, right my... Thank you, doctor. I'm going to invite God. you to... Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You can leave. Thank you. Wow. 
end of discussion end of discussion i've been married 38 years to my husband he has not shouted at me once he has not said you are stupid or you are silly once i have shouted not to talk of raising his hand so there are still good men those ones that beat their wives they are cowards and a man that killed his wife i saw it on nhn page that's why i came on ig live today i'm so sorry to say let him go to jail go to jail i don't want to say let him rot there let him become a, a, a an evangelist there but we don't want him among human beings he's an animal thank you ladies and gentlemen we're going to come back to discuss the issue of men from boyhood to manhood because there are still good men out there thank you thousands of you without any prior notice you join me tonight in spite of you know the wi-fi whatever whatever i'm in zambia and it's been fantastic i thank god for the honor of hosting all of you today god bless you please have a fantastic night we'll continue this discussion until it is published on rooftops you touch one woman you have touched all of us god bless you have a great great night i'm going to save it and you can rewatch god bless you thank you